Hi kids, I hope everybody is fine. So this video is for class 10 student. In class 10 we were solving sums from mensuration, surface area and volume of cone exercise 17.2 from ML Agarwal. And we have already done in sum number 6. You can see the description box for the previous video. In this video we will start from sum number 7. Let us see the first sum. A conical pit of top diameter 3.5 meter is 12 meter deep which means the radius will be half of the diameter and the height is 12 meter. What they are asking? What is the capacity in kiloliters? Which means volume in kiloliters. Now just one thing we need to remember that 1 kiloliters is equal to 1 meter cube. Now we will find the volume in meter cube. So volume is 1 third pi r square h. Remember? So that's 1 third 22 by 7 multiplied by 3.5 by 2 whole square into h is 12. So just solve it. 3 1 time, 3 4 times. So that's 22 by 7 multiplied by 3.5 multiplied by 3.5 2 into 2 4. Just solve it. 2 1 time, 2 2 time, 2 1 time, 2 1 time. 7 so 0 0.5. So that's 11 multiplied by 3.5. That's 35. 38.5 meter cube. This is only the answer. 38.5 kiloliters. Done. Because 1 kiloliter is 1 meter cube. Simple application of formula. 1 third pi r square h. Chalo, we'll do number 8 now. now. Look at number 8. The, if the volume of a right circular cone, if the volume of the right circular cone of height 9 centimeter is 48 pi centimeter cube, find the diameter of its base. Very easy. Just look carefully. Volume is given. So, 1 third pi r square h is equal to volume. We know this. Substitute the value. 1 third 20 pi, leave it like this only, pi, r square, we don't know, height is 9, volume is 48 pi, substitute the value, pi, pi cancels out, 3 ones are, the 3 are, which means r square equals to 48 by 3, so r square equals to 16, r equals to plus minus 4, we'll take positive value, r is 4 centimeter, which means the diameter is twice of the radius that's 8 centimeter done just remember the volume of the wall uh, formula for the volume and equate it with the volume given 48 pi don't put the value of pi because pi and pi ultimately cancels out very easy okay now number 9 the height of the cone is 15 centimeter the height of the cone is 15 centimeter if the volume, if the volume is 1570 cm cube, find the radius of the base, find the radius of the base. Pi is 3.14. Chalo, same logic, same type of sum. 1 third pi r square h. See, I just put the value. 1 third pi r square h is equal to the volume. Yes or no? I just solve it 3 1 time, 3 5 times. So r square is 1570 by 5 into 3.14. Yes or no? So that's 1570 by, you multiply this, 5 4 times 20, 7 the 5, 6 7, 5 3 is a 15. So 15.70. And 1570. So it cancels, becomes 100. So R square will be what? 100, which means R will be plus minus 10. So R is 10 centimeter. Done. That's the answer. Same sum. Just remember the formula for the volume of a cube and equate it with the given volume. Chal. We'll do number 10 now. now. Look at number 10. The slant height and the base. Diameter of a conical dome 
are 25 meter and 14 meter respectively find the cost of whitewashing its curved surface area remember at a rate of rupees 210 per 100 meter square whitewashing curve surface area first of all we need to find the curve surface area curve surface area is pi r l so that's 22 by 7 multiplied by r is what 14 by 2 that's 7 into height 25 yes or no this this cancels out 25 multiplied by 22 250 plus 250 550 that's 550 meter square now unitary method 100 meter square cost rupees 210 so 1 meter square cost rupees 210 500 so 550 meter square cost rupees 210 by 100 into 550 this 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 cancels out just simplify this you know so that's 550 plus 550 plus 55 is how much 1155 rupees 1155 yes or no very easy just find cost uh, cost surface area and then unitary method Chal. we'll do number 11 now now look at number 11 a conical tent is 10 meter high and its radius of the base radius of the base is 24 meter find its slant height Number two, cost of the canvas required to make the tent if the cost of one meter square is rupees 70. First thing, we'll find the slant height. Look at the figure. This is your height of the cone, which is 10. This is the radius. This is your slant height. Isn't it? Right circular cone. Pythagoras theorem. So by Pythagoras theorem, we can say L square equals to 10 square plus 24 square. Pythagoras theorem. Solve it. So L square is 100 plus 24 square, 576. L square is 676. So L will be plus minus root 676. So L will be plus minus 26. We'll take the positive value. Yes or no? So 26 meter. L, the cost of the canvas required to make this tent. So, what we need to find? We need to find the curve surface area because that is the amount of the quantity of canvas required. Curve surface area. So, curve surface area is pi r l. So, that's 22 by 7 multiplied by r is how much? r is 24 and l is 26 meters square. Now, look carefully. This is a CSA. 1 meter square cost this much. So, therefore, total cost will be CSA multiplied by the rate, which is rupees 70. So, CSA is what? 22 by 7 multiplied by 24 multiplied by 26. And the rate is 70. So, 7, 0. 7, 1 times 7, 10 times. So, that's rupees 22 multiplied by 24 multiplied by 26 into 10 is 260. Solve it, you will get the answer. Just multiply this. Clear? I think the concept should be clear. Okay? Chal. We'll do the next one. Number 12. Look at number 12. A joker's cap is in the form of right circular cone of base radius 7 cm and height 24 cm. Find the area of the cloth required to make 10 such caps. Area of the cloth required to make the 10, sub, 10 such caps, okay? Which means something to do with CSA. That much area will be required. That much area of cloth will be required to make one cap. First thing. See, again, right circular cone. This is 7 centimeter. This is 24 centimeter. This is L, slant height. What is L square? 7 square plus 24 square. Yes or no? So L square is 49 plus 576. L square is 6 plus 9, 15. 625. So L will be what? 
plus minus root 625 that's plus minus 25 that is 25 centimeter done a CSA of 1 will be pi r l so that's 22 by 7 into r r is how much 7 into l 25 7 1 times 7 7 times uh, 7 1 times 7 1 times that's how much 5 5 0 centimeter square that is the area of the curve surface area of one cap so this much of cloth will be required for one cap find the area of the cloth required to make 10 such cap for 10 caps it will be 550 into 10 that's 5500 centimeter square this much of area of cloth required area of cloth required means we are talking about CSA remember we will calculate CSA and then multiply by 10 because 10 such caps Chalo. We will do number 13 now. Now let us see number 13. It has got three part. The first part. The ratio of the base radius of two right circular cone of the same height is 3 to 4. Find the ratio of their volume. You have two cones. Cone 1, cone 2. And the ratio of the radius, you know, is 3 is to 4. And the height is equal. H1 equals to H2. That is given to us. Find the ratio of the volume. Now V1 by V2. V1 is what? 1 third pi R1 square H1. V2 is what? 1 third pi R2 square H2. That's the formula. 1 third, 1 third cancels. Pi, pi cancels. So can I write this one? R1 pi R2 whole square into. Actually, H1 and H2 are equal. They will cancel out. Now, R1 by R2 is 3 by 4 whole square. That's 9 by 16. So, the ratio is 9 is to 16. Always write the answer in ratio form. Done. This was part A. Part B. The ratio of the height of the two right circular cone is given as 5 is to 2. And that of the base radii R1 by R2. Is 2 is to 5. Find the ratio of the volumes. Same logic. See. V1 by V2. 1 third pi R1 square H1. 1 third pi R2 square H2. Pi, pi, 1 third, 1 third cancels out. What remains? R1 by R2 whole square into H1 by H2 remains. Substitute the value. R1 by R2 is 2 by 5 whole square. H1 by H2 is 5 by 2. Solve it. 4 by 25 multiplied by 5 by 2. 2 1 time to 2 times. 5 1 times. 5 5 times. 2 by 5 which means the ratio is 2 is to 5 in this case. Very easy. Just substitute the value. Okay. R1 by R2 is given. H1 by H2 is given. Done. Part C. The height and the radius of the base of a right circular cone is half the corresponding height and radius of another bigger cone. So there is a small cone and there is a bigger cone. Suppose the bigger cone, the height is x and the radius is y. So for the smaller cone, the height is x by 2 and the radius is y by 2. That is given to us. They are asking the ratio of their volumes and the ratio of their lateral surface area. First thing, we will find the slant height. See, try to understand. The height is given as x by 2 and the radius is given as y by 2. So, this will be root of perpendicular square plus base square, isn't it? Which is how much? Root over of x square by 4 plus y square by 4. 4 taken LCM so that becomes x square plus y square that ultimately becomes x square plus y square by 2 remember this is your slant height for the small cone when you talk about the bigger cone the same diagram you know but uh, this is your x this is your y so the slant height will be this is slant height okay slant height SL 
in this case will be root over of x square plus y square root over of x square plus y square isn't it done the slant height of the smaller cone is root over of x square plus y square by 2 and the slant height of the bigger cone is root over of x square plus y square Pythagoras theorem they have asked the ratio of their volumes so first thing see v1 pi v2 one third pi r1 square h1 one third pi r2 square h2 simple pi pi three three cancels out r1 by r2 r1 r1 is how much this is a cone y by 2 whole square and h1 is x by 2 try to understand r2 square r2 is how much r2 is y so y square and h2 is x so x solve it so this is y square by 4 multiplied by x by 2 by y square into x x x y square y square cancel 1 by 8 remains which means the ratio is 1 is to 8 the volume I'm talking about okay just substitute the value v1 by v2 is 1 third pi r1 square h1 by 1 third pi r2 square h2 r1 I have taken as y by 2 put the value h1 is x by 2. Now what they have asked? The ratio of the lateral surface area now, which means curved surface area, LSA1 by LSA2. This is pi R1 L1 pi R2 L2. Try to understand. Pi pi cancel. R1 by R2. R1 is how much? Y by 2. This is Y. L1 L1 is slant height is root over of x square plus y square by 2. Okay? And L2, L2 is root over of x square plus y square. Solve it. This, this cancels y, y cancel. Then half by 2, which means 1 by 4. So the ratio is 1 is to 4. When you talk about lateral surface area, the ratio is 1 is to 4. When you talk about the volume, the ratio is 1 is to 8. Done. Chalo. In this video, we'll keep it till here. In the rest, next video, we'll solve the rest of the sum. Till then, take care and be safe. And if you like the video, do subscribe and share with your friends.